Right, this one I saw during the mix uh, next uh, festival thingy that happened a few weeks back and I was like, oh my god, this looks absolutely beautiful. So let's check out Universal Sale. It's the prologue trailer. The prologue is free on Steam. That's what we're going to be playing. So um, yeah, enjoy the trailer for Universal Sale. How beautiful does this look? I love this art style. Look at this. Beautiful. Start. Let's start universe for sale. Let's see what this is like. Did I swap? I did swap it over on Twitch, didn't I? Lila, brush your teeth, it's bedtime. Look how beautiful this is. Mommy! <laughs> What is it? Didn't I just tell you it's time to sleep? Not without a story. Listen to you, you little rascal. You little rascal. <laughs> Take it easy. Again with this dusty old book? Will you ever get tired of it? Never. Please, just one more time. You win. Give it to me. In a time before time was a boy without a name. He had neither mother nor father. He knew neither shape nor frame. The wind does not know his birthplace. The day the mountains have forgotten. First born, alone, unbegotten. Before you were, my quiet listener, before myself, recounting this story. Before mother, father and grandfather, before memory, sorrow and glory. Before verses that twist and turn and letters sent across the far earth. Before heroes whose legends would burn, and gatherings around the night hearth. When everything was unordered together in a single spot with the sky above still folded maybe upright maybe not in a time when the ground didn't know where to lie when the seas over sound hadn't flowed rising high the seed of time still unplanted had yet to grow fast Neither fate had been written nor known was the past. What is said, what is known, is that the child was alone. In that abyss of darkness unsown. This is lovely, look at this. Oh, 
what is this? Oh, am I controlling this person? I am. I don't know what I need to do. Maybe just this way? Oh, wow. That's a big focus shift from the formation of the universe to one guy in a street. I guess it just shows us how small we are though, right? The Hinon Tea House. This makes me feel, feel cold and wet. <laughs> yeah. It has been that kind of weather though, hasn't it, as well? It's been pretty gross. We're going into a tea house. Taking a little while. Also, that sounds really tasty, Lone Wolf. American style fried chicken and American biscuits. Let me know how it is. Feel free to post a picture in Discord when you go. This is taking ages to load. Any time today would be great. going on um uh, bad weather eh oh we're so pretty <laughs> yeah can't even see a thing out there seen worse Wow, look at us. Um, at least nothing I can't handle, but it looks like your place is the only one that's open. You're a tough one, eh? With this acid rain, few willingly leave their homes. Damn, shields, if only they worked as they should. Lucky we get the usual clients. <laughs> no, no skin off my nose, mate. Oh no. Um, uh, acid rain. Acid rain. Um, TikTok is trying this new, um, like now feature. So I just got a notification was like, show people what you're doing now. So I just took a little picture of us streaming. Um, what the heck? Right. Acid rain. 
Luckily, we get the usual clients, otherwise I would have closed this place many years ago. Shields? <laughs> What's wrong with the shields? God, look at us! Crikey, Nora! It's been years since the shields have started to fail. Turbulence moves them obsolete, or makes them obsolete. Every damn time we get a bad storm, all the shit from the atmosphere rains down on us. Isn't there anyone that can fix them? Everyone here minds their own business. Many pretend the problem doesn't exist, that it always was... Or that it always was what you see, a shitty pile of scraps. What about the acid rain? Is this rain so dangerous? Maybe not to me if I've got no skin. <laughs> For Nyak's sake. You're not from Jupiter, are you? <laughs> Is that your offer? £2.30? <laughs> oh yeah, you've heard of Be Real? Yeah, I, I recently had a look at Be Real and was like, mm, don't have time for that. But now TikTok are trying it. It's a now feature and you have like three minutes to post to what you're doing right now and i've thought well if tiktok are trying it then i might as well at least try to be like a like a like a early adopter i don't know i'm gonna try it and the, i i want to be more authentic on like i'd love to be more authentic on socials like i'd love to just be like i'm just sat here chilling in my pajamas like this is this is real life like real life is me most of the time just sat here drinking tea at my laptop so yeah if be real or tiktok now or whatever allows me to do that then so be it just prepare to see the ugly side of my life <laughs> the the non-filtered bit non-filtered bit um you know how much debt is in the universe oh my god uh also also uh welcome in shinji how are you you're not from jupiter are you <laughs> i admit that i'm not from around here well, since you asked, the rain is liquid hydrogen, highly corrosive, highly flammable. Not by chance our colony is protected by curtains woven with diamantium. Diamantium? Those big orange tarpaulins wrapped around the buildings? Precisely. When the shields are out of order, it's the curtains that save our asses. What about the colony? Does the colony have many technical issues? <laughs> For no hack's sake. Couldn't get much worse than this. It's been centuries since the colony has ceased being self-sufficient. Bartering is the only reason it hasn't collapsed yet. Bartering? Precisely, the old Jovian mining colony has become one of the most picturesque and infamous holes of the solar system. Have a tour once the storm abates. Oh, but I'm getting ahead of myself. You must be freezing. What can I do for you, sir? Um, what services do you provide here? Sorry, but I have no idea of the sort of place this is. This is the famous Hinon Tea House. Which would be me. <laughs> we have teas and infusions of all kinds. The most peculiar available here in the colony and all of them are prepared by yours truly. Here, have a menu with our fan favourites. Hang on, tea house. Oh my god, we've got a skeleton hand. Uh, tea that flares a bright blue when exposed to oxygen. Very bitter, but extremely invigorating. I don't want a bitter tea. A very dark and dense tea. Its outward appearance is contrasted by a sweet and delicate taste. <gasps> A deep green tea that is tang has a tangy aftertaste, turning sweet a couple of seconds after indigestion. Oh, <laughs> ingestion, not indigestion. Ooh, very relaxing. I'm going to go for a sweet and delicate taste. The Kyala leaves. Kyala leaves, great choice. Now the tables are, as f are all full. 
As soon as the tea's ready, you can have it here at the counter. Thank you, but I'm actually looking for a person. A girl? A girl? Wait, wouldn't you be Lila's friend? <laughs> yes, Lila's friend. Then you have a booking here. That girl? She never told me who would be coming with her. She just calls me out of the blue asking to keep a table for her and I say I. Who else is coming? And she behaves herself as uh, she behaves as her usual self. Here and on, if you don't mind your own business, I'll burn that shack of yours to the ground. <laughs> I think I've been speaking long enough. Lovely girl anyhow. It appears to be the case indeed. Lila isn't here yet. You can wait for her at your table. It's in the middle of the room. Okay. Oh wow, look at this. <gasps> I could take a look around while waiting for Lila. Could take a look around. What are we looking at? <laughs> what are we looking at? Oh, I'll see. I could take a look around while waiting for Lila. This is why we invented corridors or hallways so you don't walk through every room on your way. Okay, let's... Oh, look at that guy. He's got like a snail wrapped around him. No, I can't seem to do anything. Hey, interested in a cat? Uh, no thanks. Good, because I wouldn't let you have it on my dead body. These are not normal cats, dum dum. These are lonely. Lom lonely. Lonely. Only live on Jupiter. I traveled here from Ceres only for them. I'm a breeder, you know. I own 85 at the moment. I was just now asking Brandar whether he was available to reach a small nest they have been established by one of the windmills. You got the credits. <laughs> 50 for each specimen, my friend. Seven shoe. Let's make it 60. 65. Okay, okay. <laughs> Deal. So damn stingy, these wrangles. Pleasures from my tears, little Billy. <laughs> okay. <laughs> I could take a look around while waiting for Lila. Okay. Do we really want to take a look around? Really? Do we? Where does that come from and where does it go? <laughs> oh, another initiated. Nice to make your acquaintance. I'm Khan. My pleasure. I imagine you have left your name behind being a master. It's an easy guess given the sheer number of separations you have. But I see that your ears are still in their original place. I recall my own master suggesting me start exactly from those for the detachment. What the fuck? I couldn't sleep at night, even with the best sleeping pills I could get my hands on. Then I put myself in the hands of the cult. They made me understand that my past was like a wall separating me from my pillow. I had to accept that in order to sleep again. Then away with the ears. I have never slept better than since the procedure. You, however, appear not to have any problems with the past. I actually do have some, but I accept them willingly. Good for you! Removing your ears? Oh no, thank you. <laughs> yeah. 
Uh, I could take a look around while waiting for Lila. Can I... Good evening. Um, good evening. Oh, forgive me. I was calibrating the calm drivers. Gisan, at your service. I work at the hydroponic plant. And my friend here is Dino. Nice to meet you. Excuse him. He is unable to speak right now. We're sharing a vocal processor until we can find another for Jeep. Today is Wednesday and it's my turn. That's very practical. Uh, another court is to see. Priest. Oh, coat yourself, son. Why is your belief bought you? You're more bones than flesh and you can still call yourself a man. Anyways, you've come just at the right time. I was attempting to bring the soul of this young woman under the protection of the Pantheon. Would you like to join or listen? It's very entertaining. He was just telling me that they have a specific god for everything. For instance, there's one that is in charge of making people go to the bathroom. Carp something? Carnis, the god of the bodily sphere. The one you insult every day with your profane cuts. <laughs> Please, no need to lose our cool. We have our own gods too, you know. But no one knows what their names are or exactly how many there are. They're on the other side of the Satori, and only the Enlightened can call them name. Can name them. Whoops. There's nothing of the sort. A man who wants to reach what you call enlightenment is just a fool or provoke the wrath of the gods. Whatever you say, everyone is entitled to their own beliefs after all. Well, I think I'm ready to take a seat. <laughs> ay, ay, ay. Wow, heck of a lightning. Heck of a lightning. <laughs> Space communism. <laughs> God. Let's hope the curtain's all up. I wouldn't want to build this place from the ground up all over again. Just out of curiosity, you are in the cult, aren't you? Uh, is it so obvious? I imagine it's hard not to notice. <laughs> Let's say you don't go unnoticed. Cousin of mine was into that kind of thing. She detached her own head and feet. Told me it was to reach enlightenment. Can you imagine that? You are in the cult, aren't you? Who told you I bought a Tesla? <laughs> ay, ay, ay. ay. Crikey, Nara. Also, hi, Rib. How you doing? Mm. Why is he carrying that blanket around with him? Oh, it looks like a pillow. Is he just carrying a pillow around with him? Bless him. Eight pound for months enlightenment. Yep. You must be crazy to detach all those body parts. If aliens existed, they'd probably just look just like you. Forgive me. Don't mean no offence. <laughs> I'm taken. I'm actually happy to talk about it. Oh, good. Here at the Hin on Tea House, everyone, and I repeat, everyone is welcome to make themselves at home. Anyhow, here it is Infusion of Koyala. Whoa! <laughs> what a boom! Returning to what we were saying before, my cousin used to say that without her head, she could think more clearly. Is that true? That's one way to see it. Oh, I guess. And you and Lila, how did you two meet? Hey, Lan, stop nosing around. <laughs> Hello to you too, Lila. Teacup is ready. Thanks, Hin on kind as usual. Excuse him, I think that that guy got this place just to snoop around in people's personal stuff. Always a pleasure! He always has to make the final say. Have have always has to have the final say. No problem. Don't worry, I find him likeable. Hmm. Hmm. 
You appear surprised. Did you think I wouldn't show up? Uh, I didn't doubt you'd come. It's just that I'm happy we can finally meet. <laughs> You're too easily pleased. The fact is, round here, every day is exactly like the one that came before. Trust me when I say that something's, sometimes it's a blessing to meet a foreigner. Someone besides the usual market clientele and Hinon, clearly. Uh, looks like a nice place to me. From what I've managed to see, this colony is very interesting. They say that Jupiter's markets are a continuous flow of humanity. People from all around the system finding themselves here. It's supposed to be exciting. Yeah, <laughs> can't really disagree with you on that. Maybe I just lost that. Something that helped me see the novelty of humanity. Anyhow, do you like the Koyala? Yeah, um, I used to drink it quite often. Is making me want to drink my tea. <laughs> Hinon collects the flowers in the lowest parts of the colony next to the reactors. The high temperatures allow the plant to reproduce. In spring, the male flowers bloom and poof, in an instant, they are reduced to ash by the reactors. The ash floats and falls over the female flowers, which are coated by a sticky fluid. The plants are pollinated and new seeds are produced. The ash is used to flavour the tea. Well, that sounds kind of gross. In the teapot, one must introduce a box containing the pollination juices. This releases chemical reagents that melt the seed capsules to start the infusion. Some ash remains unfiltered. This is why the... This is why the tea is still really dark. Don't worry, it's not toxic, it's sweet. It's like witnessing a mating ritual. <laughs> yeah, I guess so. Yeah, bye Jove. <laughs> 10, 13, 16... Are you alright? Did you say something? Nothing. I was just counting the seconds that separate the lightning from thunder. The speed of sound is about 300 metres a second. <laughs> All things considered, the eye of the storm will be around 5 kilometres from where we are now. Two temporary distinct phenomena, but with a single origin. I know it's stupid, but noticing it makes the relativity of time seem more tangible. Do you think about it often? I spend a lot of time thinking about these things. Hmm, yeah, it's the kind of stuff I like. Sometimes I feel like people don't really get what I'm saying. You, for instance. Why are you interested in my work? I don't know. I can't put my finger on it to be honest, I just find it interesting. Whatever. At the bazaar there are several things and trinkets that are much more useful or interesting. My stuff is useless and very hard to get. Couldn't I understand it? <laughs> What's with all these questions? I like asking questions. In general, I tend to like stories, and yours looks intriguing. Do you think that's positive? The infusion must be complete by now. Allow me. Thanks. Let's pour some tea. Forgive me. Sometimes I'm a bit peevish, I know. First time I saw you, you came across as quite confused, but I don't doubt your intelligence. Your... Your face tells me that you've seen many things in your life. Have you? <laughs> there are never enough things to see, I'd like to know your story. It's not that easy. 
I'm trying my best to understand. Oh my god, have we eaten? We've got no skin on our hands either. My goodness. It's okay. As I told you in the bazaar, I make small universes. Uh, uni universes? I extrapolate them using ordinary matter as a building material. It's simpler if I use liquids like the tea in this cup. I can shape them, give them any form I wish. The shape changes the physical rules of each universe, from how time develops to how much time passes from the Big Bang to thermal death. The form that I find particularly interesting is the circle. Keep just making this. <laughs> just keep making the same thing. So she's just creating universes willy nilly. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I don't know what I'm doing. Am I supposed to be trying to make a circle? Making a P? An E? Let's make, let's make a, a, a circle. I'm just going to end up making a square. I'm not going to be able to make a circle. So this is the type of universe essentially like ours. Like ours? Like with stars and planets and the like? Yeah, of course, but I'm actually referring to time. You see, where it starts is also the point where it ends, only to start again. In cosmological theory, it's called the Big Bounce. It's incredible. The material instead determines the fundamental qualities of each universe. For instance, using Koyala, you would get a universe that's pitch black. Dark matter dominates over ordinary matter, dramatically increasing its density. It's a lifeless universe occupied only by massive red stars and hungry black holes. Lila, if what you're saying is true, you've created you create new realities with life, maybe even people. I'm not creating anything, the universes are already there somehow, I just make them visible. And obviously they are not exactly as you see them here. This is just a relativistic representation. But it's here, right in front of our eyes, Lele. You're like a goddess. You don't understand. I understand completely, I think you're... She just destroy a universe. Big bouncy universe. This is also a raunchy search result. Oh my god. Big bouncy universe. <laughs> I am not a god. <sighs> Two seconds. The storm is almost here. It is. Lila, uh, I must go now. W w w what? Sorry, I really mean it. I will get in touch soon, I promise. Even Thanos is like, I'll stay away from her. Woof. But... Is it because I got all nervous? Forgive me, I, I told you it's complicated. Don't know, believe me. I have something to do, I can't put it off.
She's just randomly creating universes. Yikes. Lila, I want to know more about your universes. Oh, okay. But I will show up again. Can you at least wait until it stops raining? <laughs> I want to, but I can't. Enjoy your evening, Lila. G good night. never stops I bet you I bet you it never stops universe for sale signal lost Holly he got away again we must find him or else uncle will kill us Well, that's interesting. So that was the prologue. Amazing. Okay, interesting. It's only a demo. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, you like the universe stuff? Dragon at rest, welcome in. So that was Universe for Sale. Again, another short demo today. That's okay. Uh, thank you for checking out Universe for Sale with me. Go and wishlist it now.